Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first video of our summer series of art projects you guys can do at home. I'm super excited for this one, and I have a little helper with me today. Here's Lily. Hi. All right, so today we are gonna use popsicle sticks and we are gonna make a puzzle that you can move around and then put back together and see the picture. Now, if you don't have popsicle sticks, I'm gonna be using a piece of paper and I will show you how to do the exact same project without popsicle sticks. We're gonna get you guys turned over and we are gonna show you guys all the materials and how to do it. All right, we have all of our materials laid out. Lily, what are these? Popsicle sticks. All right, these are for Lily. Lily, what are these? Paint. Paint. And? Tape. Okay, and? Water. Paper towel. Oh. And what's a paper towel for? Wiping your brush on when you need to use a different color, like green, orange, or red. So we wash our brush, and then we wipe it on the paper towel to make sure that there's no more paint in it. Yep. Those are all Lily's supplies. For me, I just need paper, um, something to color with. It does not have to be watercolor pencils. It could be markers. It could be anything you have, and a piece of paper. And I will also need some scissors. So these are my supplies, and these are her supplies. Let's get Lily set up first. Okay, so can you open up these paints and pour them on the plate just a little tiny bit? Okay. I'm going to take them off first. You don't want to get your paint jars with different colored paints. Okay. Come up here. Just a tiny little bit. That's good. Next, I'm going to do orange. I'm doing a carrot and a tomato. Next, I'm going to do red. See how it's kind of empty already? It's because we used it to paint on rocks. We do that a lot. <laughs> we do lots of painting things here. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to put this off to the side. Okay, Lily, get six sticks and lay them in a row, in a row. I'm going to set these so I don't need, so it doesn't get in my way. You can do it with little popsicle sticks, big ones, or medium. That's right. It doesn't have to be the same. I've done this before in my school, but not with popsicle sticks. With? Paper. Paper. Okay, how many? All right, do you think you need one more, or do you like this size? Yeah, it's six, but I think I might need, maybe one more should be good. Okay, that's fine. I like it. Okay, so now we have tape. Can I help you with this step? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take two big pieces of tape. To tape them together, so, um... Oh, can you help me push that stick up? Too far. So, when you paint on it, it doesn't, like, maybe... If you're using a bare table with no paper, you, you might want to get a bigger piece of paper under it, because it, it could get on a table... All right, so now we've taped both sides. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip this over. It looks like when you have a match like this, and when you're done, you roll it up like that. Oh, like the sushi mat? Be careful with the tape, sweetie. I'm not sure how well it will hold. All right, so uh, now do you want to sketch your project, or do you want to just start painting it? I'm going to start painting it. I'm just going to get it wet. Okay, while Lily starts working on hers, I will explain how to do the paper one. So what I wanna do is make mine closer to her size. So I wanna fold it in half and cut it in half. Now, Lily, what are you painting? 
a tomato. Tomato. And orange is for my carrot. All right, my paper is now cut in half. And what I want to do is I want to keep folding my paper until I've got pieces that match her size. So I'm going to fold it in half, line up my edges. I'm going to give it more red paint so it looks more like a tomato. And I folded it twice now. I'm going to fold it one last time. So I've folded it three times in half. Now I'm going to use my scissors. And I'm going to smooth my edges so I get really nice clean folds so that when I open it up, now I've got lots of lines that eventually I will cut apart. But I don't want to cut them apart yet. I want to draw my picture first. All right, so Lily is making fruits and vegetables that a what would eat? Person. A person or a? Animal, because... Rabbits like carrots and squirrels or other animals like so tomatoes. What do you think I'm going to make? A rabbit. If you want to, you can draw on these lines. That way you can really see where the lines separate. Alright, so my rabbit is going to be... Yeah, we'll make it this way. A little rabbit head. I'm gonna wash my brush off. Washy, washy, washy. <laughs> Bunny body. Bunny ear. The red paint is turning the water pink. Bunny eye. And bunny foot, bunny tail. You like my bunny? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I can make this an apple and I want to. Okay, go ahead. Because tomatoes and apples are red. How about I just make fruit and no carrot? Sure. I, I'm going to make an orange. I'm going to give my Benny a little pink nose. I like how my orange is turning out. Did you know that bunnies have whiskers? And I want to give my Benny some pink inside the ears. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Because I like, um, I like it bigger because it looks a little bit better. I'm going to give my bunny some brown patches so it's not just a big white bunny. It, it reminds me of my grandma's dog's. Preston, because he ha he's white and he has brown spots. Mm -hmm. This is a big orange. It doesn't even look like an orange. It looks like a, a carrot that's going to look happy. <laughs> if you want to turn it into a carrot, all you have to do is make that a little bit more of a triangle. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to make a little green smile and two little eyes. All right. Well, I'm going to let you uh, finish painting that and we're going to do a little fast forwarding. I'm going to make little smiles on both of them. <laughs> Looks like eyes. <laughs> Looks really good. And I can do little dots for the eyes. Don't forget him to give some green up here. Just go up. I'm gonna make it all the way to the top. 
It looks really, really cute. Get a little bit more and it's done. Awesome. It looks really cute. It does look very cute. All right, Lily, we need to give your paint a little time to dry. Once it dries, you turn it over and you take the tape off and then you can mix your puzzle pieces up and then you can have somebody else make your puzzle. So we're gonna give this time to dry and we will come back and we'll show you guys this puzzle. Mine, we can go ahead and cut it right now. So I'm gonna move yours over, clean up my pencils. I do not need this top one or the bottom one because you see how there's no drawing on it. So I can just completely get rid of that. And if you want, you can draw a little, like a tiny form on it or write your friend's name. Yeah, you can do whatever you want with these extra little pieces of paper. And I might do both because there's two of them. So in order to help me put this back together with ease, in case if I'm making this for a little brother or a little sister, what I want to do is I want to turn this over and I want to put numbers on the backs of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That way, if I need help, I can always flip the pieces of paper over and know what order they need to go in. And that's really clever. Thank you. It looks right. like it's a brown bunny and a white bunny. Lily, without turning the pieces of paper over, can you solve my puzzle? Mm -hmm. Last one. Very nice. Did you have fun making the little bunny? Mm -hmm. All right, and we'll be right back with Lily's dried um, popsicle stick puzzle. Okay, mm -hmm. Lily's puzzle is all nice and dry. Lily, can you flip it over for me? And what do you think we should do before we take the tape off? If you want, you don't have to take the tape off. You could also cut it. You could, but we're gonna take the tape off. Will you please number these pieces? All right, and Lily, don't number this last one because notice we didn't paint on it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna save this one for something else, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's put the pencil away. No, we're not gonna cut it. Please just hold right here and pull the tape up. Are you watching? Bloop, bloop. You wanna do it? You want mommy to do it? All right, there you go. And crumble it up so it doesn't stick to anything. Put it in a little square trash can. So you don't want it to stick to anything because um, in that if you stick it to a wall, it might, and then you leave it to dry, and then you take it off, it'll rip paint off. That's right. why you want to crumble it up. Yes, thank you. So, should we mix it up? Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the puzzle? Or am I doing the puzzle? I'm going to let my mom do it. Okay. Top. Here's the eyes. More eyes. Very, very fun. Thanks for letting me do your puzzle. Notice how we didn't do any down here. That's okay. But the carrot down here, mm -hmm. because I didn't want to make it that big. Because carrots are bigger than apples. That's right. All right, Lily, what do we tell everybody? Happy creating. Happy creating. Bye.